everyone, and welcome to Slover Science Snippets, where we make science a snap. Today, in honor of Black History Month, we're going to make our own wind turbine. And this comes from the story about a boy called William Kumquamba. It's a true story who called the boy who harnessed the wind. And it is written by William Kumquamba and Brian Wheeler. William Kumquamba was from Africa, lived in a small village, and his village was starving because they could not harvest their food. It had, um, the plants had died during a drought. And so he came up with the idea of building a wind turbine to create energy to work a pump that would pump water from the well out into the fields. And that way they'd actually be able to get two harvests a year and would have enough food to survive. So we're going to build our own wind turbine. He used articles from a trash dump to grow, to make his, and we're going to use recycled products to do ours. So what you then need is a piece of cardboard, paper towel roll, a manila folder, some masking tape. Now I also use some duct tape because I had problems with my masking tape sticking. And you're gonna need a cup with some marbles or I have some glass uh, gems here. Some string, two straws, and something to poke a hole into your straw. I have these little uh, shish kebab sticks for it. I also have a hole punch and scissors. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to make your wind turbine. Thank you. 
Okay, I did forget one thing. You do need a paper clip. So I'm going to borrow the one off of here. I'm just going to take this one here. So it's going to look like this. You're going to have your string here, paper clip, and then another string, and you're going to put your marbles inside. And you're going to tie it onto this. Okay. And there is your wind turbine. Now, I'm going to show you how this works. There we go, it's spinning. Okay, when the wind hits your turbine, watch what happens to your bucket. And that's the way you get energy from your wind turbine. And that's our science snippet for today. See you next time.